filming yesterday as I was on my way here because I was trying to film and follow directions and I almost walked in front of a car and got hit by a car because I was multitasking which I'm not very good at so I stopped doing that um, and I actually ended up having to use Google Maps which ended up costing me $60 <laughs> to just to get here but now I know how to get here my friend his name is Stafford he showed me around the area he left for Atlanta this morning uh, to go surprise his wife and so I have a whole apartment to myself I'm really excited. It's really nice. It's in the middle of everything. It's in a great location. Um, let me show you around. So here is the living room that you walk into. Kitchen. The fridge is over there. Um, office area. Here's the bathroom. I've been catching up on my Shade Tarts videos this morning as I'm getting ready and as I'm uploading yesterday's but today's uh, the previous vlog <laughs> I'm uploading the previous vlog vlog from this one but the coolest thing is this view from the bathtub so he said when you're in the bathtub you can see a church how cool is that I think it's pretty awesome so that's the bathroom in the bathtub here is the master bedroom now this is really cool. This is the shower room. Let me turn the lights on. It's a whole room that's a shower. I've never seen that before, but when I'm in it, I feel like I'm in a spa. And those shower heads, one of those like waterfall shower heads, it's so cool. I took like a 20 minute shower this morning. <laughs> turn off the lights. Okay. Now let me show you upstairs where I slept last night. So look at these stairs. How cool is that? It is kind of scary at first because it continues to be see-through up here in the loft area. Um, so it's kind of hard to get used to like walking and if you look down you kind of feel like you're gonna fall. Look at this awesome view. How pretty is that? And at night it's all lit up and gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I slept up here last night. Um, I'm gonna sleep downstairs tonight. Oh, and this, there's this cute little bathroom too. Ta-da! It almost reminds me of a bathroom that would be in a boat. Yeah. So that's about it. Today I'm gonna go explore. I like to spend my first day when I'm traveling. I said this in one of my um, Italy videos. But the first day while I'm traveling, I like to just walk around the city and kind of get lost, not really use a map. Um, I mean, I'll use it as a guide, but if I get lost once and I find my way back, I know my way around a lot better than if I, I completely rely on a map the whole time. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh, and last night I went out to dinner and I tried escargot for the first time, which is snails, and here's my reaction. Hey, hi, so it's my first night in Paris, and we're here at Cafe Paris, and we're about to try some snails for the first time. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay. Wait, it's hot. <laughs> It tastes like buttery and garlicky so far. <laughs> That's really good. It kind of tastes like lobster. A little bit. I'd recommend it. Okay, I take that back. Actually, one of the first things I'm going to do today is a uh, self guided tour that uh, Rick Steves has put together. He's one of my favorite travel authors. Um, it's called, I keep looking down at the book, The Historic Paris Walk, and it starts at No. no I was gonna say Notre Dame, Notre Dame. And so, here's a map. 
of all the places it covers. So there's an accompanying podcast that I'm going to listen to, and then, um, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. It's all so pretty here. It almost looks kind of, I said this in my other thing, but it's just so different that it looks like a movie set to me. It's so cool. garden area on my way to find another place on the self guided tour that I have and I didn't even realize how beautiful this is. It's the back of the church. So now we're going into the deportation memorial which was designed to honor the 200,000 um, French victims of the Nazi concentration camps in World War II. But there's a tour group there that says we can't go any further, so I'm just gonna wait for you guys. I don't know. So from the very little French that I know, I heard a pre midi and gratis. So I think it's free in the afternoon. Does that make sense? So maybe I'll come back then. I don't know. So maybe it's just like tour groups right now. That's what I'm thinking. I feel that most people just edit all this together and make it like look like it makes sense, make it look like I got in when I wanted to get in, and there were no problems. But I really want to show you guys my experience and what you know what's going on and kind of help you guys figure out how to travel too. So <laughs> that's why this video will probably be a little bit jumpy. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to sightsee here. <laughs> and so I want you guys to learn from my experience. So sorry if it's not completely, you know, put together um, and, and, and fluid in, in what I do, but that's just that's my style. Look at all these love locks going across the bridge. Let's try to go back into Notre Dame, see how big the light is now. I definitely did not bring the right type of clothes. It's actually beautiful here right now, maybe 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I have like all long sleeve stuff, or stuff that I need to wear blazers with. Um, <laughs> so just know that. I'm telling you, the camera really does not do this place justice. It is so beautiful. Okay, so I'm back and it looks even more crowded. No, the thing is, I'm used to traveling in winter in, in Europe when it's not as crowded. So the, you know, all the big lines that you hear about aren't really there. Um, but now it's spring and I think a lot of people are on spring break and it's actually, wait. Seems, okay, actually it's shorter. Now that I look at it, it's just, there's a lot of people hanging out in like the courtyard area. So I'm gonna go in. Oh shoot, okay, no wait, I lied. So it's actually twice as long, because look what happened. The line starts over here, and then goes all the way out here, and doubles back to here. Ah, I'm so impatient, I can't do lines, so. If that makes a bad traveler, so be it. But I'm just gonna come back like when it's about to close. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. It's such a pretty building, and then someone had to write their stupid crap on it. These shops along here remind me of the ones in Venice Beach because they all look the same and they all have cheap stuff in them. I went and hung out over there yesterday, which is where I took this picture. You know what's really hard for me here is getting used to not smiling at people or making eye contact when walking past them on the sidewalk because especially in the south in the US it's like super common to do but here you don't do that at least what I've read and what I've heard so that's kind of weird. Actually hey you want to know a fun fact so last night I was walking home from dinner and I saw a guy on rollerblades peeing right there so that's pretty much our historical landmark yeah okay <laughs> so I'm back at the apartment making lunch for myself the zipper on my pants is broken, and it's not because I don't fit into them, it just broke for some reason, so that sucks. But, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling kind of sick. I mentioned in my last vlog that I had strep throat. Um, I've been on medicine for, 
I just burped. I've been at Madison for over a week now and I'm still feeling kind of sick, so I keep burping, I don't know why. So I need to take it slow, I guess, which sucks while you're traveling. So while I'm taking it slow, I'm planning out what I'm gonna do the next few days. Um, I booked our reservation for the Eiffel Tower. I'm booking some walking tours and stuff like that. Trying to figure out when I can go back to Notre Dame and the deportation memorial. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so used to traveling in the winter when there's no crowds, so it's really hard. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm saving money by cooking myself lunch. I'm cooking a pizza. Ta-da! It's very thin pizza, but I still think it has a lot of calories. I don't even, so do you guys know, I could probably Google this, but I'm too lazy. Do you guys know what kcal, like how many calories are a kcal? <laughs> because um, on, on this thing, it says how many kcals there are, but it doesn't say how many like, like real cows. How many real cows? That sounds so stupid in American. How many US calories there are? I don't know. I'm sorry this video is so lame. I'm feeling sick and I'm like in Paris and I tried to get into to get the sites and the lines are too long, which is stupid. I should have waited in the lines, but blah. It'll be better tomorrow, I promise. Hey, look at all this money. None of it is mine, but I like looking at it. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm just prepared to wait in line now. I don't want to have to come back. <laughs> so the line is all the way out here before. And now it looks like, and now it looks like there really is a line. <gasps> cool. Although that is what I said last time, huh? Let's see. Well, shit, now the line just goes this way. Instead of straight out, but you know what? I'm gonna wait. So right now it's 2:15. Here we go. So the line that seemed really long took five minutes. That's it. So know that one. You know how earlier I was like, oh, I'm feeling sick. I don't know why. I've been taking my medicine. Well, duh, it's jelly. Uh, obviously. So I came home and I took like a three hour nap. Um, probably not very good for the jet lag. But um, I'm going to go grab some dinner and then I think I'm going to come back and sleep because I'm not feeling very well. Sorry if the video today was boring, but. I didn't feel good, and I didn't want to wait in lines, and I'm just the spoiled brat, apparently. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll feel a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye! Once a year we throw a party here in town. Once a year we turn all parties upside down. Everything is upsy-daisy. Everyone is 
Dad's acting crazy, draws his gold, and weeds are up to pay. That's the way of Topsy every day. 